for EFR Ultimate Team love to make predictions about who will be stars of the future. In this series we're going to use Football Manager to find out the answers. Will the players that they have predicted to be icons in the future ever hit those heights or will they not quite fulfil their potential? Episode 1, Alexander Isaac, will he become a Swedish icon of the game? Before we get into the episode then, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn notifications on so that you get notified for all of the content that's to come. If you like this style of video, want to see more of it, have ideas for who we could look at next, and then get down in the comments, hit the like button as well. And with all that said, let's get right into the episode. So as you saw, first player up in this series is Alexander Isaac. And he is a young player, young Swedish player, plays for Real Sociedad in Spain. He's already had quite a, quite a travelled career at the age of 20, going from the AIK Academy in Sweden, off to Dortmund for seven and a half million, out on loan, and then moving to Sociedad in 2019. He scored nine goals in his first season there, so a good season for him there. But looking at his attributes, at the age of 20, he's six foot three with phenomenal attributes. He could be a real star of the future, and as FIFA have predicted, he is going to be a future star. So, with that said, let's move forward five years and see how the start of his career goes. So we have jumped forward to 2025, and as you can see, first thing that jumps off the page is he is no longer at Real Sociedad. He has moved to Inter Milan. You can also see he's played 64 times for Sweden already and has 38 goals for him. So he's, his international career is really starting to take off. He's now 25. His attributes... The, the technicals haven't changed a huge amount. The physicals have improved. There's a lot more green there straight away, I'm noticing. But let's have a look at his career stats. So he moved from... He had one season with Sociedad. He played 24 times, got seven goals and one assist. And then he moved for £64 million to Italy, to Inter Milan. Big money transfer at the age of 21. And since then, he's been pretty, pretty steady. He's not phenomenal, but he's been steady. First season, nine goals, four assists. Same in the second season, but in less games. And then seven goals, seven assists in season three. I assume he must have had some injuries looking at him, because season four, he's only played 13 games. Let's have a look at his injuries history. So yeah, he's had a couple of major injuries. He tore his hamstring in November at Sociedad in the first season. He's had a couple of sort of three-week injuries. And then he's had a four-week sports hernia at the start of 2025. So that explains why he's missed a lot of games this year. But in terms of his, his goal scoring stats, looking at, the, looking at the seasons down the bottom of here, he hasn't scored a huge amount of goals, to be honest with you. For his potential, you'd expect him to be hitting double figures every season. So those five years really haven't been the best for him. International-wise, I don't know what Sweden... Have, it, have Sweden managed to win anything with him in their, uh, in their squad? doesn't look like it. 20, oh, 2021, they were European Football Championship runners-up. So they are Sweden are being carried forward by him. They're doing okay. but And he is their top player. Is he? He's not listed in their key players or captains or anything, but he's in their top players. So he is still only 25. There is time for him to improve. It will be interesting to see how he gets on in the next five years. Now he's got that big money move. Can he sort of settle down and score some goals for Inter Milan? while taking Sweden forward as well. So we're going to jump forward another five years and see how he is getting on, age 30. Sort of in the, in the prime of his career at that point. Let's see how he's getting on. Here we are then, June 2030. Alexander Isaac is now 30 years old. He has 105 caps for Sweden with 56 goals. So his goal scoring record has slowed for Sweden slightly but he is playing a lot of games for him. Attributes-wise, his technicals have actually improved. I'm seeing a bit of an improvement in free kick-taking and heading off the bat. Physically, he's improved again in the next five years. There's more green here, even, even more than there was at the age of 25. So he, he's probably reaching the peak of his attributes now. He's still valued at £50 million, and he's on nearly £300,000 a week. And as you can see, he is still at Inter Milan. He's been there about 10 years now, so he's, he's had quite a career with them. Looking at his stats, 
we last last looked in 2024-25 where he's had injury troubles and it looks like his injury troubles have continued because he hasn't played ever he's never had an ever present season 23 games and 20 games in the next two years with only four goals in each that is really disappointing Moving on, you then had a season with six goals and four assists. Still not really very good, but then the last two years, he's finally starting to kick on a little bit. He picked up 10 goals and one assist in 32 games in 28-29, and then 14 and three assists with four player of the matches in 29-30. That is his, that's not his highest average rate, and he had a season with 7.5, but that is statistically probably his best season there at the age of 30. So he is still improving. No transfers to talk about, obviously. How are Sweden getting on? Have they done anything since we saw their runner-up? So they haven't achieved anything particularly major in the, the European football, or international football even. What about Inter Milan? Have Inter Milan been winning trophies with him? So looking at the Syria, they haven't won Syria since 2010 so they're not winning trophies with him they won the euro cup in 2027 and they were runners up in the super cup that year as well they've won the italian cup three years four years since he's been there so they, they are winning some trophies but they're not winning the big trophies elsewhere they won some youth trophies nothing much to talk about to be honest it's not really exceptional they have finished runner up one two three times third place so they're, they're there or thereabouts but they're really not setting the world alight in the league looking at Syria at this stage who is Juventus are still winning it presumably Juventus have won it most of the time have they oh, so they've won three as well are you looking at there must be someone else that's that's winning them Inter Napoli maybe are they winning some Napoli have won a couple of... Uh, no, they, yeah, they have won. They won four years on the bounce, Napoli won it. So the titles are being shared around over in Italy. A little bit of European success for Inter Milan, but nothing exceptional. Looking at the squad around him, is there any really big names coming in here? St. Maximan's there with him, Zinchenko. Gavi, from, who used, would start at Barcelona. So they're not making huge, huge signings, to be honest. But Isaac is still improving. His goal scoring record's improving. So let's move forwards. Another five, six years, sort of getting towards the end of his career now. He's actually classed as an elite attacking midfielder now. That's interesting. Has he been being played? So he's been playing left attacking midfielder this season. Interesting. That would explain why he's not scoring quite as many goals as we possibly expect. But either way, let's move forward. Another five, six years, getting towards the end of his career and see how he finishes. Here we go then, Alexander Isaac in June 2034. We've gone forward four years. We did skip to five years, but he does retire this summer. It's not in his plans. It doesn't say it's in his plans, but in this save game, he does. He also is probably not going to stay in the game once he retires, according to his plans. But looking at him, the surprising thing is he has finished his career with Everton in the Premier League. So he left Inter Milan for two year, for the last two years of his career. He went on a free to Everton where he's played two seasons in the Premier League. He's not played much football. I think he's played a lot of under-23s football by the look of things. Certainly in his second season with Everton. But looking at Inter Milan, he had a very average finish. Eight goals and three assists and six goals and one assist in his last two years at Inter Milan. So nothing special there. Did Inter Milan manage to win any silverware in those last two years? So they actually won in 2032 he would have been there. And then in 34 he's left and they have won again. So they did finally win a title. They had no more European success by the look of things. They had another cup success, but nothing major. Really really didn't set the world alight with them. Inter Milan have since signed Erling Haaland, so you can see why they possibly let Isaac go if they were bringing in that quality of player. Um, but looking at it, he uh, he really finished with a, a bit of a damp end, end to his career. Ending up in Everton's under-23s is not where you want to be. He scored 140, uh, played 142 times, scoring 75 goals for Sweden. 
did they manage to have any success towards the end there? They've actually got an Olympic Games on there, which makes me think, did they win the Olympics? Oh, that's 1948. It was already there. Ignore me there. But looking at maybe the records, he is their all-time top goal scorer. So he he is an iconic player for Sweden, but less so in the in the sort of domestic scene. He was their youngest ever goal scorer as well back in 2017. And he is the most expensive Swedish player ever. But generally, looking at his career, and what we're looking here is, has he become the FIFA icon that Ultimate Team predicts? And I personally, I think he would get an icon card due to the fact he is so good for Sweden. But his club career is distinctly average as far as I'm concerned. For a striker, he has not torn it up. You'd expect to see a lot more goals than this. He, and even if he's playing as attacking midfielder, you'd expect to see the assists going up. I would suggest that he would be a very, very low-rated icon. But that's my personal opinion. Get down in the comments and tell me what you think. Would he get the icon card? He only had one major transfer in his career as well. So it's interesting. It's a good debate, this one. Get down there. Let me know what you think. We'll be back next week with another episode. I'm not going to drop who it is, but who do you want to see next up out of the Future Stars card as we look to see whether they become an icon. Thank you very much for joining us. Hit the like button, smash the subscribe button, and I will see you all next time.